I'm speaking today with SP Singh from the New South Wales Department of Primary Industries about a new project looking into microbial contamination of leafy vegetables. So SP, this project is co-funded by the New South Wales DPI and Hort Innovation. Uh, to start off with, could you tell us the name of the project and what its genesis was? What's the, the need that this project is aiming to address? Uh, well, uh, this project is uh, aimed to identify the sources and routes of microbial contamination in the leafy veg industry. Uh, the project is, as you said, is funded by uh, vegetable growers R&D Levy uh, and, and New South Wales Department of Primary Industries. Uh, the genesis of this project is to uh, enhance the food safety systems of the industry uh, by providing them the best practice. Uh, we understand that uh, industry has been doing uh, a great job in managing food safety risks on farm and, and post harvest, uh, but we are further exploring the possibilities of uh, taking the food safety to next level. Uh, as the uh, leafy vegetable industry uh, will be coming under a new regulation, which is called the Primary Production and Processing Standard for Leafy Vegetables 4.2.8, this standard will be coming into effect from the 12th of February 2025. So we want to uh, look at uh, the leafy veg industry's uh, production as well as post-harvest systems to make sure that the industry uh, uh, successfully transitions in this new uh, uh, regulatory phase. So if this project is towards uh, preparedness uh, of the industry uh, in this in this new era that that we are foresee. So, am I right in saying the this new project is is less about uh, understanding the mechanisms behind the microbial contamination of leafy veg, and more about where in the supply chain that's happening? Uh, that's right. In this project, we are looking at the whole of supply chain. So, we are starting from the farms. So, we are we will be looking at the production systems, we will be looking at the inputs that growers use in, in, in a variety of production systems, and also we'll be looking at what are those potential sources and, and routes of contamination that are currently uh, uh, unaddressed. So we are looking for uh, uh, what are those pathogens, like what which pathogen is the major concern. So we are looking at a range of pathogens like Salmonella, Listeria monocytogenes, and sugar toxin E. coli. So currently, we do not understand what is the nature and the magnitude of risk. So this project is looking at um, to how best we can define uh, where those risks are and what what is their uh, uh, magnitude. So once we know the sources and routes of uh, those microbial contaminants, uh, we can address them. So in this project, uh, we are using the latest technology in pathogen identification and whole genome sequencing to join the dots of where those pathogens are sitting and how do they transmit in the production system as well as in the post-harvest processing. So in nutshell, this project is uh, uh, aiming to explore uh, the diversity of those pathogens and how do they and travel and cause contamination of, of leafy veg in the field as well as the post-harvest processing systems. And are there some typical causes of contamination or points in the supply chain that you're going to be focusing on in particular? In this project, as I said, it's whole of the supply chain. We'll be looking at on-farm post-harvest processing centers and then we'll be also looking at the retail end of, of the supply chain. Particularly on farm, we are interested in uh, two major inputs, which are agricultural water and soil amendments. So we'll be focusing more on agricultural water and soil amendments on farm. And then we'll be also looking at post-harvest processing, how these products are washed, sanitized, and handled. So we'll be looking at those major uh, hotspots for contamination and cross-contamination, which are of concern. So as we understand, um, the industry has a whole range of food safety schemes in place. So, but we are going, as I said, to the next level where we would like to 
uh, look at various case studies uh, to manage those risks. And all that um, work will be presented to the industry um, in order to, to bring some uh, positive changes so that we address that risk um, um, uh, more effectively. Fantastic. And I, I understand uh, you mentioned uh, one of the goals of the project is to prepare the industry for this, this new standard. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, where that standard has come from, who's developed it, and uh, what, what it's all about, what the goal of that standard is? So this standard is uh, being developed by, or rather is developed by uh, Food Standards Australia and New Zealand. It's the federal agency which, which develops standards. Uh, once the standard is developed, then it is the responsibility of the state uh, food or health agencies to, to enforce that standard. So this standard uh, has been developed um, to further improve the food safety uh, in the industry. Uh, the argument that FISAN, which is Food Standards Australia New Zealand has, uh, that uh, there have been few incidents in the recent past uh, within Australia and globally um, that, that led to the development of this new standard. So this new standard uh, means uh, uh, all leafy vegetables um, which are grown uh, and processed in Australia, they will be covered. So the definition of leafy veg for this standard is uh, any vegetable of leafy nature, which is green and is eaten raw, is leafy vegetable. So it covers a whole range of leafy veg commodities in the standard. For example, all types of lettuces, spinach, um, and herbs, for example, parsley, basil, mint, uh, cabbage, um, uh, spring onion, kale, uh, chards, uh, Asian vegetables. So it's a whole range of uh, leafy veg commodities uh, which are covered in this standard. And the information is available on Food Standards Australia New Zealand website. And through our new project, we will be sending uh, the information to the industry through uh, Oswich communication program and we will be providing more information on the commodities which are addressed um, in that standard. In addition to primary production, the standard also applies to processing of these standards. Processing, which means if you are trimming, sorting, washing, sanitizing, that is all considered processing. So whether a grower is uh, doing this post-harvest processing on-site, um, even if they are trimming the produce or just doing minor sorting, it's considered processing. So, so this standard will apply to both primary production and processing of leafy vegetables. And I, I understand you're hoping to work quite closely with, with industry on, on this project. Uh, what kind of input are you looking for from growers? We are contacting growers to come forward and participate in the project. So in this project, as I said, we are collecting uh, data from the industry uh, looking at the current industry practice, which will help us to benchmark uh, where the industry is at present. Once we do that exercise, we will develop a national snapshot of industry practice, which will help us in identifying um, those areas where we need immediate intervention. And combined with this, we are collecting microbiological samples from, from farms, which include samples of soil and water and produce. Um, so once we do the microbiological analysis of these samples, we will find out where are those pathogens and what is their nature and, and, and how, how they get transmitted in the system. So we are encouraging growers to come forward and participate in the project and let the team come to their farm, look at their practice, and we would like to collect the microbiological samples. And we will provide the information and, and the report uh, in full confidentiality to the grower. So we are really looking forward uh, to growers coming uh, on board this project. So far, uh, we have very encouraging um, uh, response from the industry, and we have signed up more than 10 growers from Western Australia, South Australia, New South Wales, and Victoria. So it's my appeal to growers that please come forward um, uh, and join this project. We, we respect your privacy and confidentiality in terms of food safety. We understand that and we, we assure that that will 
uh, all the data and, and information will be presented uh, anonymously. So yeah, so, it's, so it's, it's great if you can come on board. Fantastic. Well, it sounds like a project anyone in LeakyVed should be following with close interest. Uh, thank you very much for speaking with BSB. Thanks, Tom.